Using a 16 series lithium battery pack as an example, first install the BMS for the single battery pack. This is the total negative terminal, and this is the total positive terminal. The sampling cable wiring sequence is as shown in the diagram. The cable terminals are user supplied. Connect the first black sampling cable to the pack's total negative terminal. Connect the remaining sampling wires in sequence. Connect the last sampling cable to the pack's total positive terminal. Note, do not plug the sampling cable into the BMS during soldering. After wiring, verify all connections are properly secured. Connect the black multimeter probe to B0, and the red probe to B1, B2, B3, B4, etc. If the multimeter shows positive voltage and each cell voltage increases sequentially, the wiring is correct. Note, do not let the two test probes touch during testing, or it may cause a short circuit. Connect one end of the B-negative wire to the pack's total negative terminal. Connect the other end of the B-negative wire to the B-negative port on the BMS. Use connection cables 1 and 2 to connect the interface board and the BMS. Next, insert the two temperature control lines into the NTC port. Insert the switch key into the key port. Plug the Bluetooth module into the UART port of the BMS. Connect the display cable to the UART port, and the other end to the display screen. Plug in the sampling cable. If the status indicator is green, the BMS is working normally. Finally, connect the B positive wire to the pack's total positive to complete the installation. Next, connect the packs in parallel and connect the BMS communication lines in parallel. Repeat the same steps for the second battery pack. Connect the positive terminal of the first battery pack to the positive terminal of the second battery pack. Connect the inverter positive terminal to the positive terminal of the first pack. Connect C negative slash P negative port of the BMS on pack number 1 to the the inverter's negative terminal. Connect the C negative terminals of the two BMS together. For PACS parallel communication, use an Ethernet cable to cross-connect the RS-485 ports of the two interface boards. Ethernet cable is not optional and should be user-supplied. Use an Ethernet cable to connect the CAN slash RS-485 port of the interface board to the inverter's RS-45 port. The communication connection completed. On the phone, turn on location and GPS. Open the Smart BMS app. Tap the Local Monitoring button. Tap the corresponding Bluetooth serial number. Tap Parameter Settings. Tap System Settings. Select the protocol type and communication method. Tap the Set button. Default password is 1 to 6. Finally, tap the Read button to complete the app protocol setting. Use a PC communication cable to connect the CAN slash RS-485 port of the interface board and the PC USB port. Open the upper computer software and set the protocol, select the inverter brand and protocol, then click Set. Then go to the Engineering tab and click the Restart button. Go back to the Manufacturing tab and click the Read All button. Complete the upper computer inverter protocol setup. Tap the Set button. Tap Battery Settings. Press the button to adjust to 12 or 00. 12 represents RS-485 protocol connection. 00 represents CAN protocol connection. After communication is completed, you can view the battery pack information on the inverter to confirm whether communication is successful. First, connect the BMS to the router network. Plug the Wi-Fi module into the UART port of the BMS. Turn on mobile data, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and location on your phone. Open the Smart BMS app. Log in with your account and password. Take a single battery pack as an example, and tap the plus button. Tap the Wi-Fi device button. Tap Next. 
Select the appropriate Wi-Fi and enter the Wi-Fi password. Then tap Next again. You can rename the device here, then tap Save. After adding, the BMS data uploads automatically to Daily Cloud. Next, open the website on a computer. Log in with the account and password provided by customer service. Click Device List under the Device Management tab. Click the Equipment Type button on the homepage to view the overview of bound devices. You can filter device types and online status. Click the Check button. You can view device data, historical data, and configure parameters.